everyone, welcome to the ninth Sydney Open Sim tutorial in which we will examine gestures. Now, you have an avatar. If you've seen the uh, avatar customization tutorial, you probably have your very own uh, somewhat wacky avatar. But how do we make your avatar do something? He's just standing there. It's boring. Okay, he goes through... Uh, uh, default animations every once in a while when he feels like it. Well, luckily we can change that. Animations can be used to, of course, animate your avatar. So, let's try some of these out. Play in world. Yep. Nice. So, I haven't uploaded any animations of my own yet. But animations can be uh, created in third-party software, such as QAvimator, which was, of course, specifically designed to make animations for Second Life. So, we have these default animations from the OpenSim library. Wonderful. Now it looks like he's on a bouncy ball. Nice. Hmm. Right. Okay. Oh, that looks kind of interesting. So, okay. Let's make a gesture. So it might be a good idea to keep your gestures nice and handy in, in the gestures folder. So let's call this uh, All right. So when you open a gesture, you have this little interface here. So you can have a chat trigger. Let's call it. Right, and you can also have a shortcut key okay, with a combination of either shift or control and one of the F keys. And so, then to add uh, animation, sound, chat, or wait, click the Add button. Let's see if we have any sounds. Oh, come on! All right, so I guess we have no sounds. So then, to uh, edit one of these steps, you go down here. Hmm, I guess there's a lot more stuff in here than I thought. Okay, let's let's make uh, my boring avatar to a back book. And then rename this accordingly. Wahoo. Right. All right. So now we can't have any sound, but let's add some chat. So again, to edit a step, you click on it and then go down here. So the chat will be. Right. Woo! Like that. If only I could record that. And then to save changes, you kind of have to save it. All right. And then with the animation thing, you can either have it start or stop. And then you can say move down and move up to change something. But let's add a wait. So you can either wait until the animations are done or wait in time in seconds, say two. Two seconds. Right. Save that. Then add in another chat. Right. 
So let's preview this bad boy. See that? Now, please do not use your newfound uh, gesture powers to make spam gestures, because if you do, the spam goblin will kill you in your sleep. So, thank you for watching this uh, Sydney Open Sim tutorial. Happy gesture making.